Here, let me move this out of the way. Okay. Let me scoot, the, let me scoot up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, this is yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. So, Deborah Matthews. So, this is for all your hard work and wow. dedication to your craft and helping out a lot of folks. Wow. All right. You got it. So, is that right? it is. Come on, come on. It's all you. It's all you. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Sis, do you remember your first subscriber? Yes. Your 100th? Yes. Or your 1,000th subscriber? Chances are you do. And we know that you'll definitely remember your 100,000th subscribers. Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend, or maybe you showed up as a recommended video. No matter how they came to your channel, your audience stayed and their numbers increased because of you and the community you've built. We're proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers with the Silver Creator Silver Creator Award. Congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> Deborah! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Present it to... Oh, wow. How cute. How pretty is that? I know. Presented to Lose Weight With Me for passing 100,000 subscribers. Yes. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's yes. It really is beautiful. Wow. That is wow. awesome. So it, it's a story to tell. Yes. That we are trying to communicate that if you're in a wheelchair, if you use a walker or have a cane, that you have gout, lymphedema, knee pain, back pain, chronic pain, all the stuff that we really can improve our life. Mm -hmm. And so this is a testament to the community saying that there's a need to talk about these issues and work on them and improve. And so I thank you. So it has been a the part of that. I called <laughs> Coach Storm one day. I said, Coach Storm, I want to get the weight loss. I said, you want to help me? He said, yes, that's okay. And then when he's when he helped me, get to the point where I could walk. And I said, Coach, can I walk? He said, yeah, you can walk. I said, okay, well, if I can walk, I think I'll just walk. And I think I won't need the weight loss surgery. weight loss surgery going on. Yes, exactly, that's right. exactly. I think there I don't we need go. weight loss surgery. <laughs> I think I'll just walk. Nice. And so yep. then I started sharing with you all my videos, and you all allow me to video and help me to show what I'm doing with no shame. You don't have to be ashamed if you're in a wheelchair. You don't have to be ashamed if you're obese. You don't have to be ashamed if you have knee problems or back problems or chronic pain. But what you can do is work on it one minute at a time. And honestly, now today is 15 months and one day of me exercising. I'm up to 12 hours a week. Mm -hmm. yep. And so I'm going to decrease this exercise amount for maximum benefit now. We're going to talk about that. And we're gonna keep on the journey because I feel really good. And I'm work I can move around. I can I can really like my knee strength is really improving. Mm -hmm. My leg strength, oh, my yeah. arm strength is really improving. And so it's just it's just a blessing to people say, Well, I wish I had your mobility coach. Get your butt up and get your trainer. And I even say, <laughs> get a trainer that's a veteran. Because veterans are used to obstacles. Coach had us doing some exercises. Then when you went and showed us the boxing gloves, I can keep my arms up in the air because he trained us for three months like that. So when he put the gloves on there, I could do that and it didn't even hurt. Because mm -hmm. veterans, they take obstacles. They take challenges all the time. That's why they move them every three years. So you're not that other trainers aren't good, but being in this community where there are veterans and spouses of veterans who ride along with their spouse, they're doing different things all the time. So it's, it's just a great community to be in. And I'm so grateful that he took on me because not everybody want to work with someone who has such a big way to go. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that. <laughs> and I put, and I, and I do what I can. There he is. I do what I can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an overachiever, <laughs> but one day I'm gonna take a hike. I have a colleague who lives in Oregon. She says when it's time to take a hike, she's gonna fly down and we'll go hiking. Right, mm -hmm. There you go. I know them white people, they do that crazy. 
<laughs> He's black. And I'm like, Coach, I'm regular black over here. I'm going to do a South Memphis hike. South Memphis, we're going to hike on the trail. We can see. We're going through that wild. We don't do that wild stuff with them wild animals there. Mm -mm. We can handle deer about as much as we can handle. You know, maybe a raccoon or two, but we maybe a, when them. It's not nothing strange. I'm going to go regular no hike. Oh, no, no more no bobcats. No bobcats. Regular hike. Maybe a hiking trail. Oh, no. The Greenway? Maybe the Greenway. The Greenway well, we nice. probably can go to Kentucky. We're going to go to a regular place that's, that's, um, that's paved, lined mm -hmm. with a hotel and with a restaurant there to have a snack. Oh, you know, yeah. that's how we can do it. Have a cup of tea. You know. <laughs> so, I think has it been nine minutes? Yeah. Oh, good. No, five. Okay. No, no, five? Okay, we got to make it nine. Okay. <laughs> That's you two. Wait, got to have nine minutes. So, it's five. So, this is beautiful. And, so, and honestly, I have 216,000 right now. Really? Yes. Wow. I And someone of my subscribers said, you've been on here for seven months. And I have on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And you have, oh, you know, at the time, 200,000. And mm -hmm. For seven months, for six months, I had up. I went to zero to two thousand. Mm -hmm. Then one day, I had four thousand. The next day, I had six thousand. That night, I had eight thousand. And by Thursday, I had sixty-eight thousand. Wow. By Thursday night, I had eighty-six thousand. And then Friday morning, I had ninety-eight. And I was watching, I was taking pictures, 98,000, 99,999. <laughs> and then the next week, I had 70, 76,000 followers. And Australia, South Africa, Umbekistan, um, Australia, Canada, Nigeria, Brazil, people are resonating with this message of exercise yeah oh i saw when we were on live there were yes. people from other countries like yes. saying hello mm -hmm. tuning in it's like they knew exactly yes. when you were going to be on oh yes and they were like oh click join click yep. join nope. click join yes. click join and so the message of health and wellness is important and also mindset that's the biggest thing and i what i learned is i thought it was just because i was fat but when coach said to y'all, oh, we have to work on your mindset to be able to do something else. Like they jump over that wild, crazy stuff. But <laughs> when they want to do something more, like take a hike, then he says, okay, we're going to work on your mindset. They're already exercising, but you have to work on the mindset to do something else. Even with the kids, when they jump up, oh, buddy, go up there and touch that top. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, okay, so it's not just the big people, it's everybody. Mm -hmm. That's something, that is something that resonated with me, watching him come in here, drinking his drink, the same thing I do to lose weight, he's doing it to t condition, you're conditioning more so, and I'm like, okay, and then I asked him about his temperament, I'm just like, why are you ain't screaming at them and cussing? <laughs> I don't know, we just got cussed at, and I was like, why are you don't stress out? I'm watching him. You don't have to live your life stressing out and up here and down here, up here and down here, erratic. That is social media nonsense. Normal people are well put together, well thought together. They understand how to proceed and they proceed. That's normal. Not that there's something wrong with me, but it gives me a guide. Men are, I mean, as a man, as a father, he these kids trust him the parents trust him he's coaching the parents and they're coaching you guys are coaching us the ladies come in it's really the ideal place to be because we're getting uh tactics and strategies on how to it's all in the core and the posture mm -hmm. that if if that helps everything your core your posture it helps your back it helps your pain it helps the way you think being able to focus i could never focus I could never focus, and now I can focus. I can do. One time I was trying to walk, and I closed my eyes, and somebody <laughs> said, "Open your eyes, you gonna fall." But I learned how to not by telling me, but really by watching y'all. Mm -hmm. Really, I do that. I can keep up with you when you're mm -hmm. doing exercises. You know? Yeah. So it's very. The lessons I'm learning is more than just can I stand up. Mm -hmm. It's am I afraid to stand up? 
and that it's really it's really amazing and I'm not the only one that's another thing you think you're the only one you may not say it but you think it but you can be this big you can be small you can be 120 and have a knee problem yeah and you need strengthening of your thighs that's the end it's nothing else strengthen the thighs your knees can be perfectly normal they just may have gotten weak and so that's where the conversations come in that's where nutrition i love how you said oh you need to keep getting more electrolytes that's why your feet cramps because i called it a special fat cramp I, did, I said i don't know what it is i'm exercising every day but i got this special fat cramp that just happens and so the other day he said you're not i said coach when i put my feet on the chair to, to push back it cramps he's like these are more electrolytes you know but leaving that's it just so simple exactly but leaving it to your own devices you'll think anything because i will call 911 in a minute okay and they will come. And so <laughs> when all I needed was some more water and electrolytes, lemon juice, something, my pre-treatment, something. So it, it's just amazing. So now um, I want you to have Happy Talks by Ella Fitzgerald. She says, happy talk, keep talking, happy talk. Talk about <laughs> things you like to do. <laughs> you got to have a dream if you don't have a dream. How you going to have a dream come true? And that's what's up. All that stuff y'all be listening to, drop it down, do down, tell me, you know. <laughs> they ain't talking about nothing. How you gonna exercise doing all this stuff? It's immoral, illegal, and you going to hell. <laughs> Repent of your sins and sing happy down. All right? All right, sing some Sam Cook. That's the big, that, that, that's foolishness. So you gotta sing some happy talk, child. Get some happy talk in your life. <laughs> <laughs> So you can have a dream, set a goal. Um, someone wants to go visit their grandchild. Somebody wants to go on vacation. Someone wants to take a walk, go to a venue. When you have a goal, then that helps make your exercise and your mobility more valuable. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, comment down below and let me know how you have contributed and what you have learned from our journey together, because I couldn't do it by myself. I couldn't make myself subscribe. You guys and ladies came together and thought it was worthwhile to support it. So please share with us your goal, your, your stride. Do you do group exercises? Do you have a trainer? Are you looking at your resources, looking at what can happen to help you? Whether you have a weight problem or not, just to be better as a person in your body. Okay? Peace.